Greetings! My name is Canyon Crest Remington Allegria. I know, so formal, but you can call me Remy. I am a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and I'm originally from Great Britain. You Yanks make know it as England. Today, I'm with Miss Glenna as we learn about hydroponics and my transformation into Captain Hydroponics. <laughs> Hydroponics, you say? Well, let us find out together. Here you go, Miss Glenna. What's making you smile so big today? Well, hello, Remy. I'm really excited about my new tomato plants. Look, this one has 10 tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I love tomatoes, but where is the soil? Remember, Remy? I'm growing things in hydroponics. That means growing without soil. Soil is pretty important to plants. Remind me what soil does. The soil gives the plants the nutrients and minerals that it needs. But sometimes it's really a challenge to grow outside. Because sometimes it's so hot we can't grow outside. <laughs> I know about being too hot outside. Look at how I'm dressed year round, even in the summer. I know. Your fur coat. As head of farm security here at Terra Hill Farm, I know there are other challenges to growing things outdoors. Believe me. There are pests and there are animals such as rabbits and armadillos and critters such as raccoons. I try, Miss Glenna, but those dodgy animals come out at night when we're all in bed. I can't keep up. That's why we are growing indoors in hydroponics. I would love to know more, but it's hot, so let's talk inside. Phew, that's better. The bloody heat was killing me, so who thought of growing this way? Hydroponics has been around for thousands of years. Thousands of years? In ancient times, the Babylonians had hanging gardens growing in the water. And that's really where hydroponics comes from. <laughs> Hydro means water, and ponics means work. So let's think about that word. Well, thinking, mate. In hydroponics, it's water <laughs> doing the work. Hmm, I'm starting to understand. Can you tell me some more? In soil, plants get the nutrients and minerals that they need. But what about hydroponics? In hydroponics, the plants receive the nutrients they need when they're submersed in water that has nutrients. See, Remy? These plants' roots are submerged in nutrient-rich water. They'll grow in the water. And the water that has the nutrients provides what they need. Blimey! It's like magic! It may seem like magic, Remy, but it's really a science. In hydroponics, we give plants all that they need. They get the air. They get the nutrients. They have space. But how do they get sunlight? That's a great question. <laughs> how do they receive light when they're not outside in the sun? We use grow lights, and those grow lights stay on for the length of time that a plant needs. Oh, cracking good. So the grow lights are like the sun, but we don't have to put the plants outside. You got it. <laughs> we aren't restricted by sun because we grow indoors. In fact, we can be growing fresh fruits and vegetables all year round. Hooray! That means fresh vegetables year round. I have another question. Why is our hydroponics garden in a box? We grow our hydroponic plants in what is called a DWC tank. That stands for deep water culture tank, where the plants are in a net cup and they're suspended in the nutrient where their roots are growing. <laughs> Look at that root. And this 
is growing into a nice basil plant. You want to smell? Hmm, I'm hearing some kind of minky whirring and bubbling. Good observation, Remy. <laughs> That's an aerator pump. This tube goes into the tank and into an air stone and provides our plants with circulating air that they need to grow. Right. Are there other ways to grow plants in hydroponics besides the tank? There are other ways to grow in hydroponics. One of them is called NFT. NFT? Is that an American football club? No. <laughs> no, silly. It's not a football team. It's called Nutrient Film Technique. <laughs> and that's when a certain amount of nutrient rich water goes through a slanted tube. Ah, that sounds quite good. Are there any other ways to be a hydroponic farmer? There is another one, and it's really become popular in the recent years. It's called aeroponics. Now think about it. If hydroponics was letting the water do the work, what do you think's doing the work in aeroponics? <laughs> it lets the air do the work. You're right. <laughs> the air is doing the work. So, why did you choose deep water culture? I chose a DWC, deep water culture tank with aeration, because it doesn't have as many pipes that might burst. And it's also contained. I could grow things in just two square feet. Look, this is growing in my office. So, we're just learning how to grow plants. Hydroponics isn't just about growing plants. It's about learning so many different things. Students of all ages can learn science and technology and engineering and math just from a hydroponics system that's real world. It's a living curriculum. I'm ready to learn all of it. Let's start with science. <laughs> Hydroponics is like a mini science lab in your classroom. Right. You can test different types of seeding media. You can test different types of nutrient mixes. You can test different colors of light and the length of time you leave the light on. Hmm. That sounds like so much fun. I love doing experiments. It's not just science. Remember, it's technology. Look, <laughs> this measures electrical conductivity, and it's a technology that's a bar graph that moves. It measures how many parts per million are in our nutrient solution. That's like being in the future. I can't wait to see all those fancy scientific gadgets. Is there more? We talked about science and we talked about technology. <laughs> now, we're going to talk about the E in what is an acronym that used a lot in schools. It's called STEM. The E is engineering. Engineering and hydroponics? Look, if you built a hydroponic system in a classroom, in a home, <laughs> in a garage, in a kitchen, or in an office, You've already become an engineer. Smashing! We can become plant engineers and build our plants their very own dream flat. Yes, we are going to engineer homes for our plants. The more I learn about hydroponics, the more excited I become. <laughs> Let's talk about the math. This is where the living curriculum of hydroponics becomes so interesting and engaging to any learner because our technology EC meter is now going to become a bar graph so it's measuring the parts per million of nutrient in the solution. Hold on there for a second. Could you explain the EC meter to me again? It measured the nutrients 
that are in the solution, which is what the plant uses for food. So nutrient is food for our hydroponic plants. So we're using our special math powers to help the plants grow big and strong? That's like being a superhero. Hmm, I'd like to be a superhero. Maybe we could change my name? What do you say? But I like your name, Remy. But I want to be a superhero. Can I, can I, can I please? Huh? Huh? Can I? I have an idea. You can be the superhero of hydroponics. You can be Captain Hydroponics. Kids everywhere are going to be so excited about growing their own scrumptious food without soil, especially when they see me, Captain Hydroponics. And now I must go around the world and share hydroponics with students everywhere. So this is, this is Captain, Captain Hydroponics, Hydroponics. saying toodaloo, farewell, and bye-bye.